I tell you, there's already a lot of fans out there who are mourning the loss of Taylor Heineke. No, he didn't pass away, folks. He got signed by the Atlanta Falcons. And so our beloved Taylor Heineke, and I know that the Heineke Hive is just grieving over the loss of Heineke going to the Atlanta Falcons. But you know what? He served us well the last uh, few seasons. As you know, in 2020, he came in toward the end, the tail end of the season. After Smith comes in, incredibly after I don't know how many surgeries to repair that leg, to basically just rebuild that leg. And Smith comes in and basically saves our season. And then he's no longer able to, to go. And Heineke comes in and almost leads us to a victory over the soon-to-be Super Bowl champions of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers that year in 2020. And then 2021 hits. And you have um, uh, Fitzpatrick, who... Is going to be the starting quarterback. He goes down in the first game and never comes back. And so we have Taylor Heineke who comes in and leads most of that season there. And, well, you know, of course, we get into 2022 and it's kind of more of the same. This time you have Wentz. And then Wentz goes down with an injury, and yet here we have Taylor Heineke who comes in and saves the season, puts the team within a good chance of, of the playoffs, and we saw how it kind of all played out toward the end there. But, you know, Taylor Heineke, he is one of those guys that no matter what team he's on, you're going to want to root for the guy. He, he's just He's been a fantastic player. Uh, I'm definitely going to miss him on the Washington Commanders. Um, you know, he doesn't have the strongest arm, certainly. And he's a gunslinger. He he mimics his play after Brett Favre, certainly. You know, he wears that number four. You know, he, he's, uh, he's going to be missed in Washington. But, you know, certainly I think it was probably going to be best for him and for the Commanders to part ways. And so the commanders now are looking for a backup quarterback. Uh, there's plenty out there right now. Um, there, there's one that is off the market at this point, uh, but there's still plenty. I, I think right now, if you gauge the interest amongst uh, Washington Commanders fans, uh, Gardner Minshew seems to be the leading guy who people want to pick up. I am in that camp. I think Gardner would be one of the better ones, uh, a good option to pick up. I would certainly be all in for him. Um, I mean, we still don't know um, what the future is for, for Matt Ryan. You know, he was let go by Indianapolis. It's kind of a similar situation uh, from Carson Wentz, right? You know, one and done in Indy. So um, do you pick up Matt Ryan, is Matt Ryan willing to just be a backup after all these years? Probably not. I think Matt Ryan might think about retiring. Um, but if not, who knows? Maybe Matt Ryan is willing to to come in back up. I, I'd find that hard to believe at this point in his career, but who knows? Um, but you got plenty of guys out there. Um, Teddy Bridgewater, I've always loved Teddy. You know, I would love to bring him in. I mentioned him probably a couple of years back when we were looking for quarterbacks. I was like, what about Teddy Bridgewater? Uh, let's look at bringing him in. So you got Brisket. I mean, you've, you got you got a lot of quality backups out there who could come in and win you some football games. So not to worry. I think Washington's going to be in some good hands. But they need to pick up somebody. Um and hopefully they're going to find somebody. Gardner is my number one, I think, because of the mustache. I've got to admit, love the mustache. But you know me, uh, in my last video, I talked about the mullet. And sad to see the Cole Holcomb uh, mullet go. Uh, but maybe we get the Tom Selleck mustache back. Uh, you know, as you can tell, I'm an 80s guy. <laughs> I love it. Um, you know, others, other news, though, <clears throat> other than Taylor Heineke, 
Uh, looks like we're still trying to sign our own with uh, Jeremy Reeves. We uh, gave him the tender. Hopefully, we're going to be able to keep him around. Jeremy Reeves is a very high-quality special teams guy. Uh, he has come in and played, uh, started some games with us in the secondary as well. So, Jeremy Reeves definitely need him back on this team. So, we're glad to, to give him the tender. We did let J.D. McKissick go. Uh, J.D. McKissick has given us some very quality years with us. Um, you know, last year, as you know, that he signed with Buffalo and then he kind of reversed that and went back to Washington. I don't know if, if he's kicking himself today for doing that, but you know, he's had some injury issues, some neck in issues. Who knows? Uh, is he still going to try to play or is he thinking maybe this is uh, – Probably about time for him to, to wind up uh, a career. Who knows? Um, but he, he's given us some quality playing time. Um, I enjoyed watching McKissick play. Um, you know, that, that kind of continues to, to fuel the, the fire for the uh, Austin Eckler uh, rumors that we keep hearing. You know, you don't have McKissick now. Uh, we do have Gibson, but is this going to be Gibson's uh, final call in Washington. Maybe, you know, Gibson is expendable. So we do start to look at Eckler. We got Eckler, and then you got Brian Robinson. And, you know, suddenly that doesn't look like such a wild um, trade opportunity. So, I mean, who knows? Who knows what happens with that? It'd be interesting to see. I wouldn't mind picking up Austin Eckler. Um, but at what cost do we do we want to uh, go in with that? I, I don't know. Let, let's chill on that for now. Uh, but let's see what happens. Uh, probably by the time they actually release this video, all that's going to be you know, gone. Um, Four o'clock today, um, free agency starts. So obviously, we're going to find out at this point, where does Lamar Jackson go? Um, because he's going to be able to be free to start talking with other teams. Hopefully things will start clearing up about some of these bigger names. Maybe not so with Aaron Rodgers, though, because Aaron Rodgers, from where I'm hearing, the Packers, I think, have the ability to wait until the draft to decide uh, what they do with trading Aaron Rodgers. So they may wait. They may wait all the way till the draft time uh, before trading Aaron Rodgers just to get the best deal they possibly can, man. Could you believe that dragging out until then? Um, I mean, I think I think right now it looks like, you know, obviously Aaron Rodgers and, and the Packers are, are uh, separated, and Rodgers is right now going out and dating other teams and getting very intimate with the Jets. But yet it's like, it's like the Packers don't want to, officially signed the separation papers just yet. So anyway, um, let's not get into all that. Folks, today's official day of free agency. A lot of moves have already kind of happened within the tampering phase. Let's continue to see what happens. If you like this video, please give it a like, give it a share, helps the algorithm out quite a bit. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, uh, let me what let me know what you thought about the Heineke era in Washington. My hats off to him. Love the guy. Uh, well wishes for him in the future. That said, well, you guys have a good day. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.